feeling really good, feeling really great. Girl, I'm about to miss the light. Hold on. Um, January second, Tuesday. First day back from work. For one, being back from work, strange. Two, got my secret Santa gift. Was not expecting that at all. And I know I did a clip when I first found out about the secret Santa shit, and then when I found out the budget. And then, <laughs> it's just so funny looking back at the clips and everything. And I still haven't looked to see what's in the back. Obviously it's something pink. It's a little hefty, so I'm thinking it's like perfume or something. You know how they do over there, I think. It's probably like a uh, Christmas set. Um, yeah, look at my cute fit. Oh, this girl, I feel like it don't even get that cold. I think it's cold. Ooh. I wonder if you could hear him screaming on the clip. <laughs> That's so funny. But um, it's global warm for sure because it does not get as cold as I feel like. I remember it being when I was younger. Hoodie, sweater, it's like a cropped Sherpa halfway zip up hoodie uh, from Uniqlo. In green, obviously. And I got this sweater, uh, yeah, last Christmas. As like my Christmas gift from my boost thing. And I haven't really worn it. It's starting to break a sweat. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I haven't really worn it. Like maybe once or twice. So. And I was wearing. I started wearing the. Because I also have it in black. So I started wearing that one. and Because it was really cold. With this jacket. Is the combo. Like the combo. Like tell me this is not fire. Like. I feel like this is more fire from far away. I can't really show that. But, I mean, you got the idea. <laughs> literally. Why? I, li I literally don't have any cash. And if I did, it would be like maybe a dollar. Because I'm financially up and coming. Don't want to say I'm broke because, you know, your worries are powerful, whatever. So, but look. A key point of reasons why not to come to New York. Oh, he was just begging for money. <laughs> now he's talking about, oh, let me say hi to your boyfriend because you think I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. I'm not. I'm vlogging, sir. Anyhow, my shirt, my black waffle knit shirt under, also from Uniqlo. Uh, I think it's men's though. And then pants. Some cargoes that I bought from Sheen like in 2019. Um, got some leggings under because it's 33 degrees today. And wearing some Nike, what do you call these, Prestos that my friend Sam gave me. I don't know if you can see them, but they're green and they're Prestos. And they have the little black thing on them um, I'm just walking to 59th Street right now because I need to pick up my packages um, and then I'm gonna head home and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a spot so I can pull over and do a little box unboxing of this shit because it's getting kind of heavy I want to cross the street, but there's so much going on. Like, hello? Look at this fucking construction in the middle of the street. Like, this is a whole tunnel. Like, in the middle of the street. Just for the construction. See how much I just walked? Hello, we're right here. Wait for the light to change. Let me put my headphones on so my hands can be free. All right. So unboxing. This is her gift. Oh, the worker is like across the street. You know what I mean? 
Oh, it's all tied up, cute. Yes, it's exactly what I fucking thought. Like these types, which is like the classic, you know, pink Victoria's Secret gift. So, oh my girl. It's about to smell so good. I already know. I can already tell. Loki don't support them, but it was a gift, so. Perfect. The light is here. I'm having to run, but I fucking bugged. Behind me, how good. Anyway, that's cute. And I also got an Amazon gift card for my job, like. Because why is there a huge puddle on the floor? Only where I need to walk. Like. Oh my god. Wait. I don't know. Poof. 49 for one, not the whole box. That's crazy. I'm at Whole Foods now to pick up my package. Yeah, have some good looking stuff in here. I can't even lie. I swear, it always smells weird in here. I don't know why. Is this because they have a whole fucking fish market right there? Stinks like ass. Anyway, I'm gonna go walk to the train. Yeah, I'm gonna go walk to the train. I'm like two, three blocks away. Head home. I gotta wait for the four train, so that's probably gonna take like 20 minutes. You never know. Hopefully I'll be home by like 5, 5.30 the latest. And yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to edit, edit a vlog, put some things together. And maybe do a TikTok post. I haven't posted on TikTok in a while. And I wanna do my yearly IG post, so I gotta find some good pictures, clips and stuff. Put some things together. Um, other than that, I'll probably check back in tomorrow, so I don't have anything else going on today. Now I'm about to try to tell you how fucking rude. Alright guys, I think that's it for today. Good chat. Okay, tomorrow. Hey vlog, it's Tuesday. It's Friday, January 5th. First week of January. Completed. First week of 21, 2024. Get that shit. Why is that 2021? It's three years too late. <laughs> and I'm starting to feel sick. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Do I have to feel sick on a Friday? Thankfully, I got through the day. I had my break literally 30 minutes ago, so that's how you know what type of day it was for me, baby. But since I'm feeling sick and I didn't have time to go to the store this morning, I'm about to go get some juice shots. I might as well. Go the extra mile and get me the two shots at Trader Joe's rather than buying some bullshit for five dollars, which I did this morning because I didn't have time. So I'm definitely not doing that again. Because why the fuck is a naked juice five dollars? <laughs> the fuck? I bought two bags this morning to like soothe myself. Uh, naked juice and like a probiotic drink, some shit I never seen before. And I was like, ooh, this would be good. It was ten dollars thirty four cents. Like I literally wish I had the receipt to show you. It's just crazy. I had ten dollars and I was like, oh, oh, you know what? I fucking need it. I need it right now. It was that or a ten dollar juice, like one singular juice, eight ounces. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, do what I can, and that was the best option. And it was very busy at work, like very, 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 very fucking busy. Can I just walk behind me? I hope I didn't get him on the video. He's then I'm gonna have to edit his face out. 
Um, look at his fire eyes, living. Fire! And there's literally a Starbucks in there. I love how it's dead, though. Yes, fuck that place. Boy, God, that whole. You cannot shop anywhere and feel good about it. Like, literally. Nowadays, the only way you can shop and buy stuff and, like, feel good about it is if it's cheap or, like, thrifted or something. Like, I swear, these companies can't make a single product that doesn't <laughs> also include their... Hmm, how can you put this? Their faults as a company, not as a product, <laughs> which is insane. Like... Uh, literally free pass line colors and packages it's like so nice it's a lot of people right now and it's very fucking cold so I'm gonna bundle up and check back in when I get closer maybe I'll show ya a little shop with me or something I don't know Face breaking out, so <sighs> I'm gonna warm up, put my hands in my pocket, and chit chat later. You'll be COVID testing at work. What? I don't have COVID. Um, waiting five more minutes for the results. It's giving negative vibes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Vlog. I wasn't gonna vlog today because I was gonna be busy, but change of plans. Now I'm heading home, so I figured I'd vlog a little bit. And I had a freaking somebody gave me a Starbucks gift card for Christmas, and I was like, Starbucks. So I just gave it to a homeless guy. I tried to cash it out at the store, like how people were doing on TikTok. And he told me you can't do that, so I was like, fuck it. I'll just give it to a homeless person. Because I was gonna just buy something, like at least you could buy a cup or like a water or something. But I'm like, I don't even want that. Like, literally, I don't even want that in my house. So, just give it to a homeless guy. Have $15 on it, so at least you could get like a drink and a sandwich. Or like two sandwiches, maybe. I don't know. And he was so thankful. He was so happy. And I just gave him $5 like this time. You know, like, I mean, it's only $5. But yeah, today was calm as fuck. I ended up staying later at work, like, almost an hour later. 51 minutes later. My hair is a mess now. Just wearing a stupid fucking hat. But she's still long, beautiful, and luscious. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I want to do like for the weekend because I haven't done anything in so long. I didn't do anything for Christmas, didn't? Well, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Went to the movies to see Aquaman, that was so cute. Um, but like besides that, didn't do anything for Christmas, didn't do anything for New Year's. I've hung out with my friends literally like once in the past month. We used to hang out literally every day. Like, I literally used to eat, sleep, breathe <laughs> these bitches. But now, shit's different, you know? Everybody's grown. We got our own things to do. We're basically our own little families. But we still a big family when we come together. It's really cute. Like, I really love that for us. <laughs> like, it's so cute. <sighs> I mean, I know Sam and Beta for more than 10 years now and it's so crazy because now we're all in our like like relationship like home settle down like get our shit together era super cute super fresh my god oh so tempting not to get chip city like the wolf i just got as i walk by it damn near grabbed me by the neck, choked me to death until I turned around and bought a cookie. Like I swear. But $5 for a single fucking cookie is out of your goddamn mind. 
like ain't no way one cookie is the same price as two two rides on the mca ain't no way girl you gotta really do girl math like bro for bro for everything like and say used to be that shit used to be two dollars shit used to be 25 cent nowadays but luckily this morning i didn't have to pay for it somebody opened the door so i just walked in they could do all this shit don't hop don't hop don't hop but somebody opens the door once and it's like 20 people and then we know we know we hold the door for each other like ain't nobody gonna slam the door in front of you and be like no you can't come in obviously obviously that's not their job that's the police's job but sometimes the police don't even stop you they just watch they just watch look you're cutting your eye go ahead they're like i'm not gonna follow you unless but sometimes they do whenever they're in that little bad mood they follow you oh yeah and there's a jamba juice here it looks like fake like i don't even know if that's real jamba juice and they never have anybody there so i'm like shit must be ass it looks ass I'm pretty sure I could like make way better juices and smoothies than that girlfriend. Alright, I gotta go swipe in, so I need to stop recording. Hi guys, here with my grandma. We're gonna get a new phone at T-Mobile, so come with us. <laughs> she was inspired. So her I was recording for my vlog. She's like, it's like a TikTok, so let's go. Ah! Made it to the T-Mobile on Great Point app. <laughs> Just a phone that I, you know I could use. This one's 200. I don't know if you'll be able to figure this out though, girl. Why? Because it's very modern. Oh, this is Graham Graham's old phone. I'm trying to tell her to get just the same one, just like this. So let's see what they hook us up. Decided on the phone. Grandma's feeling suspicious. <laughs> Well, I guess when you try to put it on, you see the shit. She keeps saying, do you know what it is? Hey, y'all. It's Thursday, January 25th. I just left work on time, <laughs> period. Um, I got dressed as quick as fucking possible, even though there was a line for the bathroom. And now I'm heading to interview number two. I just had one yesterday on Zoom. So, and it went really well. So, let's see how today's interview goes. Wish me luck. Forgot to mention, I literally didn't even tie my shoes. I just ran out the building. Ran out the building, girl. I almost left in my work cock, which I've done before. And if I would have went to the work interview, like a new job, new field interview with my work cock on, which are you kidding? Like just, you can't even cross the street. What the fuck are you rushing for? Like you have to walk in front of me. As you see, I'm recording a video, but bitches are so rude, I swear. Anyhow. Almost ran out my work fucking crocs, and if I would have left in my work crocs and go to my interview, imagine me walking in my dirty ass work crocs that have chicken grease, soup, fucking banana squash, all of that. Alright, y'all, I just finished the interview. I'm in the train station, so there's a lot of people around. But it went really fucking well. It was like almost 20 30 minutes long i literally walked into the room and she just starts going off like literally she was snapping smoking shit about all her employees that she wants to fire them and that i sound like the perfect fit so excited hopefully i'll get home before it's hey y'all i'm walking home right now it's only 5 45 so i will make it home before it's six and hoping to hear back from the lady oh shit girl and i'm about to get hit by a car <laughs> even though it doesn't even say it's not a green light but anyway <laughs> um hopefully i'll be there next week and then when i get the new job <laughs> i'll do the job vlog maybe i'll show the doctor and shit i don't know we're gonna see how it how it turns out 
get home now, y'all. I'm literally like a block away. So that was all for today. Maybe I'll update you with another video when I actually get a job. Or maybe I'll do a vlog with my current job. I don't know. Let me know. So why I just came inside? Like, I was just in my house. Guess what, bitch? My zipper's done. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Literally, it's wide open. Are you serious? Do you know how much I want when I took the four train? Did my zipper That's what you're telling me.